What is going on, you guys? My name's Colton Ignapo, and welcome back to Train Simulator Classic. Again, you guys seem to love Train Simulator, so we're going to keep going at it. That's great. I absolutely love that you guys like it. However, I do have something special to show you. Um, this clip, I have a clip that I recently just went to a uh, railroad and had some fun. Obviously, you know, on my off time. And this video I'm about ready to show you will show you how much of a true rail fan I am. And this meant more to me than anything in this world and i am i swear by that this clip actually means more to me than anything in the world check it out So that clip there, I was on a uh, steam engine in the Appalachian Mountains uh, going through, you know, going through the mountains and everything. That meant more to me. It was a cab ride blowing the whistle. If you get to blow the whistle, if you're a true rail fan and you blow the whistle, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know how much it means to you. You really do. <laughs> you know how much it means to you if you blow the whistle. Even if you're not a rail fan, you blow the whistle. But in that case, I have a rhythm that I like, and i that's the way I blew it. And even Engineer at the end, at the end of the day, um, he actually told me, he said, that was a very good whistle blow. He said, that was, that was pretty cool. I was really impressed. So that meant, that meant a lot to me. Getting into it, we're going to do the Miami West Palm Beach. We're going to do this one, the main uh, mainline freight, Dash 840CW. So we're going to be using a CSX. Um, an important order requires you to operate a daytime freight service Sharing the main line with passenger traffic. Head north behind this morning silver meteor, paying close attention to signaling. Now, it is, it's 30 minutes long. It's three bars, yellow difficulty. So we're going to have to pay attention to signaling, as it says, as it states, obviously. Because most freight services on this line are at night. Passengers during the day, freight is at night. So for some reason, an important order comes through, and it has to be required. So... Got to do what we got to do, so let's get into it. An important order requires you to operate a daytime freight service, sharing the main line with passenger traffic. Head north behind the morning... Okay, paying close attention. No, oh, I don't want to use the controller. I don't want to use the controller, you stupid. <laughs> All right, it wants me to use... You're already coupled up and your freight cars have been checked. Continue, uh, continue on the main line to the next stop signal. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't want controller. Uh, let's see. Keyboard. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna... Yep. Alright, that'll be fine. Oh, wow. That took off quite fast. Wait till they all start moving. There we go. Wow. We got a beast. Beast and a half here. Let's get up to track speed. It doesn't look like we have a time limit as of right now, so... We're gonna try our best, and it is dark as crap in here. Holy crap. I mean, it is an autumn day, but my gosh. Let's see. Uh, let me see if I can find... Oop, I don't go that way. Cab light. There's gotta be a cab light in here somewhere. Headlights. Rear headlights. We don't need rear headlights. Front headlights on? Yep. Nope. That's off. That's on. As you notice, that little light right there. That's for going backwards. Or when the train's facing the other direction. The daily northbound silver met meteor is scheduled to pass through soon. Once it has passed, follow it. North as signals allow. Oh, 
I mean, I gotta... There it is! Oh, God. We gotta follow behind you. Yep. Passenger trains have right away. Yep, I don't care. I don't care how long you've been in service. I don't care who you are, or what you are, or whatever, whatever you are. Well, there's a red signal up there, so we just need to go ahead and coast on in. Because we'll be switching over to that side. Oh, yeah. Don't care who you are or whatever. Passenger trains always, 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 always has right away. Now, this is kind of a bad sw uh, signal right here because, look, this train is... <laughs> It's <laughs> my end of the... Oh, I need to put more brakes on. Oh my gosh, slow down. <laughs> it doesn't want to slow down. Wow. Holy cow. <laughs> wow, you don't want to put... Dang. I didn't realize how much brake effort you needed. Daggum. But look at this. Oh, would that suck to be at this signal right here? <laughs> oh, that would be horrible. Oh, well. So now we just got to wait for that signal to change, and we should be good to go. All right. We are here. And we're going here. Go via. All right. Let's see, there, and then go via there, and then we're going to stop here. Okay. Now, can we request? Request to pass... Denied. <laughs> well, there went that one. I got denied on that one. Oh, look at that right there. Okay, so go via that in two miles at 910. So it's going to be a while before we can get going. So what is that? Almost five-minute wait? That's almost a five-minute wait period right there. Holy cow. Well, while we're waiting around, we can uh, check out the scenery. So cool. That is so freaking cool. Hey, we got we got clearance. Woohoo! Good God, it takes off quick. Open the window? No, I can't open no windows. Dang it. Sweet. So we're going to be seeing a lot of those. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Don't know why they need coal or whatever um, what kind of material is that? Coal? Looks like coal. Don't know why they need a daytime service for this, unless the facility or a plant or whatever that needs it, you know, they need it desperately or something. I wish it would just hide the mouse. Instead of just hovering it right there, I wish it would hide the freaking mouse. Alright, we got a 60 mile per hour limit. But we have to watch out for signals. Because God forbid, if we don't... You know what? Is there an option for the uh, alerter? Nope. The reason why I say that... Interesting. The reason why I say that is because the alerter button is technically still broken. In Classic, and Train Simulator Classic, it technically... <laughs> it's like it's still broken. Even though you push the button, it doesn't think you push the button and it automatically applies the emergency brakes. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Baseball field. Oh, that's cool. Oh, no, that's tennis field. Good God. Tennis court. Not baseball. Trucks. Looks like Volvos. Yep. Like two Volvo trucks. Oh, my gosh. It's a, it's a heavy freight. We're loaded down. We're, we're pretty darn heavy. 
What is that? I can't see from way up here. What is that? Whistle sign. All right, we got a crossing coming up. And that would pretty much be way back there because you're going 60 miles per hour. It's way back there for the passenger service. Hmm. Long, long, short, long. You gotta do long, long, short, long. All these cars coming up. And then you hold the last... All the way across the crossing. The last long blow is across the crossing. Two boxcars. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Oh, another one. The whistle sounds right there. Oh, look what we got there. Look what we got here. Hello. Okay. A little mixed freight. Pretty cool. That's really cool. CSX. I put it a timeless bonus. Sweet. Yeah, I put an application in at CSX before. I turned it down, obviously, but... Oh my god, look at this super highway right here. Look how big, the big, big that highway is. Wow. I just didn't like the... Uh, the work schedule. That's the only problem about railroading is the work schedule. It's just kind of... The work schedule is a little... Mm -mm. For every six days of work, you're off two days. So obviously your two days off obviously rotates. But I know I've said this before in previous videos, but you work around the clock... 365 days a year. Right. So we got one mile. We got a signal coming up in one mile. I'm going to see if I can... What we got there? It looks to me like it's green. We're going to back off on the throttle just a little bit. Because we are on flat ground. So speeding up is not an issue... So, I mean, I know it's career and you're supposed to keep up with the time, but I'm, at this point, I'm not really concerned about that. Looks to me like it's green. Looks like green. Yeah, green over red. So we got, we got uh, full line speed. Full steam ahead. Now we just cruise. I was, yeah, paying attention to the speed and all that. I didn't pay attention to the whistle sign. But you're supposed to. But anyway, uh, yeah, here's your controls. Speedometer, your brake, and your power, which that gauge doesn't seem to be working, actually. Yeah, that gauge is not working. Because when you put more throttle on, that's supposed to go forward. And when you put brake, it's supposed to go backwards. So, And here's your brake pressures. Oh, there's a sign right there. What was the whistle sign back there for? Huh. Interesting. Imagine being at this station and this freight train comes blowing by at 60 miles per hour. Be, imagine being that lady like there or all these people. Imagine that. That would that would scare the hell out of me. A big old freight... Oh, sorry. A big old freight train just coming plowing through the station. That's why most freight line services, like they said, is at nighttime for that reason. Or, if it is during the day, you're on a three main line track... And the freight service is always in the middle and the passengers are on the outside. But, in this case, you only got a double main line. You don't have a triple main line. Alright guys, I am back. So, I don't 
exactly know what happened. The game decided to crash. For some reason, the game absolutely decided to crash on me. So, luckily there was an auto save right before this crossing right back here. So, honestly, we're not too terribly far away. Thank God for auto saves. Let's see. So, we're like 1.6, something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, the game just... I don't know. The game decided to make a uh, decided to crash on me <laughs> for some reason. So there's a signal in 1.5 miles. So we need to be on the lookout because they did say signals. You know, you got to pay attention to signaling. So we got to pay attention. So as soon as we see the aspect color of that signal, we need to react to it. So I'm gonna back off because I don't know how this. <laughs> I don't know how well this is gonna to happen but this is nice y'all remember this <laughs> this is like deja vu all over again <laughs> yeah but that again that's just really weird um the game crashing or whatever all right give me an aspect color oh that is red that is red holy cow that is a red aspect that's green that is three solid reds right there so we need to start slowing down, and I mean quick. Holy cow, half a mile out. Oh my goodness. Uh, train? <laughs> half a mile out, I need to start slowing down. Come on now. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. No, 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 not that, 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 not that. I need to see if dynamic braking will kick in. It should kick in. Ooh, this is going to be close. Ooh. Put the resistance in these wheels. Woo! <laughs> that was a close one. That was a very close one. Oh, we don't need 100% dynamic braking. We got this. Woo! That was close. Come around that curve and you didn't see the aspect of that. Woo! That's why the modern locomotives... This is an older locomotive. The modern one, like the... Um, the ECACs, AC9s, and all them, they have um, a column right here in the middle that shows uh, different signal light colors. So that way you know what the signal light is at the next junction. Woo! All right. Ooh. Ooh, that was a close one. Um... I'm going to manually save just to be on the safe side. Oh, of course. Of course. As soon as you stop. Of course, as soon as you stop. Um, it changes color. And we still got a long way to go before we get up to 60. So let's look at... Uh, where is that? Where's that train at? The Metro Star. There, the Meteor. Silver Meteor. There he is. Okay. We're going to Boca Raton. And then Delray Beach. Okay. Cool. Maybe with us slowing down like this, maybe that might be it. That might be the end of this... Or, the end of the signaling i would assume but you never know with this game so you might, you might as well just keep paying attention to it Woo, that was a close one i i mm, i cringed on that one and i that's just a short train imagine if we were longer Woo. Woo, that was freaky come around that freaking curve and then all of a sudden if you don't you know in real life most engineers carry um one of those telescope like what pie uh uh ship uh sailors use i had to think of the name like sailors use they use that they look out at sea um you know what i'm talking about um they'll use that binocular i guess one binocular whatever what it's called to look really far ahead so basically they do this it's the same thing what we do is to zoom in the fov to look way ahead they do the same thing with that binocular so all engineers or even regular binoculars 
regular they all do it because you have to see down this line you have to if you don't you're gonna be running a ri you're gonna be risking running a red signal mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's a no bueno on that one oh I can speed up now that's a no bueno mm-mm Uh-uh, they don't go for that crap. Obviously. So this was the station that... We got that red signal, so apparently the silver meteor was right here. That's probably why. But as far as I'm looking here... Um... Uh, golly, where's he at? There he is. There he is, right there. So he's chugging along pretty good. So he should be out of out of range. Wonder why that rock imp uh, rock empties are. Wonder what he's waiting on. Oh. Um, I think that signal's broken. <laughs> Look at this spawning cars. Look at this. They are spawning cars like right here. Now that side works, but they were just spawning cars right there and going right through me. <laughs> I would say that signal's broken. Now, do those signals go up? Yes, they do. Okay, they actually animate those. Okay, I didn't know they animated them. Wow. All right, so we got another signal coming up. Florida is easy to walk, look for signals. They are easy to look for signals, but when you're in the mountains like in Tennessee or South Carolina or North Carolina or West Virginia and you're in through the mountains, huh... What does that say? No whistle. So there's a no whistle because apparently so we'll just ring the bell. Since it says no whistle, we'll ring the bell. Because apparently there must be, yeah, see this housing development must have complained to the railroad or whatever. We don't want no horns in our area. Alright, so we got two yellows because we know that dash nine with the empty rocks are coming back. So that just changed to red. Okay. So we got green over red. We got green over red. Red, the bottom reds are for crossing over. So that's red for us to cross over if we're crossing over, but we're not crossing over. So we got green here, so we're still good. What is this? No whistle on this one either. Because the neighborhood's right there. Cry babies, I swear. <laughs> I'd rather ring the bell than blow the horn, you know. Crossing over. See, look how flat this is. It's just completely just flat. It is. So there's the interstate, so I would say that's probably I-95. If I ooh, 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 if I had to really guess, I would say that's probably I-95. If we're heading north, and the interstate's to our... And the interstate's to our right, that's I-95. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> the Doppler fail. Oh, here's this Dash 9 coming up. So that green, his green, for my direction, should change when he gets through it. Should, anyway. But I got a green. Okay, so I'm clear. I got a green. Let's see what he's got. He's got rock empties. Ooh, a plane. I-95. Hey, look. Ding. <laughs> the car spawn. Ding. Ding. Hello! You're the exact same as us. Hello, goodbye. Yep, exact same as us. Just empty. That should have changed to red. Because obviously it ain't going to give me no green aspect for going this direction on his side. <laughs> obviously. What does that green sign say right there? 4th Avenue, West, 155th Street, 1 Mile. Okay. Alright, we got another signal coming up. So 
We gotta be paying attention. Oh god, we got another blind curve. Oh boy. Now obviously engineers can't do this in real life, so we gotta play this realistically. By being inside. Come on. Show me that signal. I'm nervous. <laughs> Show me this signal. Come on. Plane. Where are you? Come on. Oh, don't be hidden by the trees. Yellow. So we need to go in and back off. So it's a yellow aspect. So we're catching up to him. So I got two two yellows and a red. The bottom doesn't... We're the top. So it's a yellow aspect. And we got to find out where he's at. We're coming up to there. Where... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Where's he at? Where's he at? He's somewhere. Where's he at? He might already be gone. We got two yellows. And red. But the two... The, the yellow and the red doesn't count for us because that's crossing over. And top yellow, that's our yellow. So that usually indicates the next signal might be red. So we gotta keep an eye out. So we got under a mile. Can you see what that is? That yellow? Well, that vibrating. Oh, that's the controller vibrating. Because for some reason, if I unplug the controller, it says it lost communication. What the hell is that? Wait just a second. What the hell is that signage? I didn't mean to, I didn't click that. I didn't mean to click that one, but look at this. I mean, I, I had to stop, the, I had to pause this for just a second. What is this signage right here? This is interstate. That's that direction. This is this direction. This is northbound. This is southbound. Why is there two signs facing northbound on the southbound side? <laughs> Come on, train simulator. I know you're a train simulator, but for gosh sakes, what is that? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, wrong button. Uh, let me go ahead and save that real quick. What is that aspect? Green? Look like green to me. Yep, that's green. So we got right away. We're clear. I mean, we don't have an ETA time, so we're good. We're just going via green. Okay, cool. Boca Raton. Ah, a nice, beautiful little station. Not little, it's a big station. Now, I just noticed that there is a 55 speed limit coming up, so we might as well start backing off on the throttle. It's so dark in this cab. I guess because the windows are tinted. Yeah, windows are tinted. Okay. We're going to have to look this way. There has to be a... Disp I need you off the main line. You will be routed to Delray Beach Industry. Alright. So, that has to be a signal for us. Obviously. So, he needs us off the main line. Come on, give me the aspect. I can't see the aspect. Okay, so we got yellow. We got yellow. We got yellow. Or is that red for us? No, the yellow is for crossing over. I got that save, manual save point, so just in case, but... We have, we have right away. That's for us. The top is red. Yeah. Top is for straight, uh, the straight ahead, but we're crossing over, so we're the yellow aspect for going across. I'm pretty certain on that one. Yep, that's what I thought. 55 miles per hour going across a switch like that seems a little fast, if you ask me. Seems a little too fast. Alright, oh boy, we got a 15 mile per hour limit coming up. And it's going to come up quick, too. 
I mean, I don't want to start slowing down too much, but we're three quarters of a mile out. I really don't want to start slowing down too early. Come on. Half a mile out, so we go ahead and slow down. Half a mile out. Come on. Start slowing down. <laughs> wow, this thing doesn't want to slow down. Holy crap. Okay, brakes, please. Give me some brakes, please. No, brakes. <laughs> Come on, give me some brakes, please. I'm at 91% and this thing does not want to freaking stop. Give me some dynamic braking. There we go. Give me some dynamic braking. Wow. 25. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. Slow down. Oh my gosh. I'm in almost full dynamic braking. I'll explain dynamic braking in just a second. As soon as I get my speed under control. Holy crap. Wow. And it took no time to start speeding up. So basically what dynamic braking is. This is your train brake. Okay. So this is your train brake. This is your locomotive brake. Dynamic braking is if you push forward. So dynamic braking all it does is it takes the power and restrict it basically restricts your wheels from turning it with it's using the tractive the uh, the wheel restrictive it's restricting the wheels turning so you're not using air brakes to slow you down you're using pressure on your actual wheels to slow you down basically so it's a way to save wear and tear on your brakes it's not meant to stop the train. It's just meant to slow the train down. So if you're going like down a steep grade, dynamic braking is what you're going to use. Because use your air brakes, you could lose air. And you could be a runaway train. And that's, that's spelling disaster right there. All right. Finally, we got that under control. Whew. That was absolutely chaotic. So looks like we got a... Yeah, we got a red aspect for us here in the siding. So we had to divert. Had to get off into the siding. So we got a red signal right there. Obviously, dispatch told us that we have to because there's a train apparently coming the other direction. There's us. Oh no, that's the end of the scenario. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I would assume doing this in real life there would be another train coming your way, but... In this case, it's pretty much the end of the scenario. Am I in the siding? Yeah. I don't know where I have to stop. I'm assuming somewhere on the yellow as long as I'm on the yellow. Oh, listen to the brakes. Ooh, squeaky. All right. And that's that. Sweet. So in a normal scenario in real life, yes, that would be the case. You would be being diverted over here in the siding if you had to come over here or whatever, and there was a train coming, obviously. But for this scenario, we ended up going from the outer into the inner. You completed your stop at Del Rey to allow high-priority passenger service to pass before continuing north. Good job. Ba okay, so we'd stop over here for high-priority passenger on the outside line. They have priority. Sweet. And I got Gold Star. Awesome. All right, guys. What'd you guys think? I enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.